All right, guys, I know in fact, and I know you guys are sitting in front of uh, your computers or PCs and you're looking and you're looking for that information. How do you combine power and a top spin? I know how many times you come out and I've seen it myself since I was six years old. I always struggle with that idea where I would go from a top spin, the loopy top spin like this. to flat ball where I will drive it over net. And I always wondered, how can I combine both? I was watching Roger Federer, Fernando Gonzalez, and they're hitting at 90 miles an hour with 6,000 RPM or 5,000 RPM. And it just blown my mind. I'm like, how do you get it? I really want to get that shot with the amount of power they get and the same amount of RPM. Even if it's not the same, even if I get 60 miles an hour with 3000 RPM, obviously on the level that I'm playing is going to help me out. And I'm guys going to help you out with that. I'm going to give you the most important tip of your life that you're going to, you're going to save you. It's going to give you that tool. All right, guys. So uh, at the end of the day, if you don't have a good serve, it doesn't matter how your ground stroke look like, you're not going to be the same player. So, Sign up for our Power Serve course. It's absolutely free. It's under a link below. Just click on it, sign up, learn everything about generating a tremendous amount of power on your surface. It's going to help you so much to win more matches, hold more serves, and convert your winning percentage. Good luck, guys. Sign up for it. So, guys, here's the tip that I'm going to give you right now. Please write it down. Whatever you have to do, go practice it. It's very important. So this is what I find. A lot of people, especially amateurs, they struggle to go from the spin to power. So they go from a high top spin with no pace on it to a flat ball where they're trying to win. But now we all know on the flat ball, there's a limit. There's a range where the, the, the height of net is very low or if you lift it up, the ball goes out. If you hit too fast, so you're always playing around with the pace and the height of net and it's very risky, right? So it would be awesome to combine both of those shots. Now it's very simple tip that I'm gonna give you. It's very, very simple. You can do it at any time. So now a lot of times when you guys watch, look at your racket right there. And if you see that your strings are separating from the sweet spot, you see the sweet spot is right there in the middle of the racket. Above the sweet spot, a few inches above, you see those strings separating. That's where you hit your topspin. You're actually hitting the topspin way above the sweet spot and start rolling the ball down on all the strings. So if you guys are swinging through the ball, what happens? The force of the ball opens the racket up so much and the ball launches into the sky. So sometimes you're like, man, I, I, something happened to my grip. I opened my racket. There's nothing about opening your racket. You're just meeting the ball in the wrong place and you're trying to hit an aggressive topspin. So what do you have to do? You have to meet the ball the same way as you would hit a flat ball. On a flat ball, you guys are going through it and you fall through so the ball doesn't roll down on your strings. But what you need to do is to hit the ball off the middle of the racket right here on those bottom strings. Then what's going to happen? The same thing is going to happen. It's going to force off the ball. As the ball ro rolls down on the racket, it's going to close the racket so much you don't only have to do it yourself. So you can stay relaxed. I'll show how it's going to look. Swing like that and you see how the ball goes low over net and you can swing as fast as you want to and the force of the ball is going to close the racket up where it's going to generate even more topspin. So you see where I'm going with that? You will have to generate topspin and power at the same time and not being afraid then you're gonna miss it. You see, I can swing as fast as I want to and it generates so much top spin without me even trying. Now, if you guys miss hit it, like for example, I'll try to hit a few a little bit above the sweet spot and see what's gonna happen. So I'm still gonna accelerate the same way and I'm gonna try to get the ball in. You see, the ball just launches. So then my solution is going straight up, what we call brushing up, right? And that's how I'm generating that spin. But I have no pace. So it's a very loopy ball that just sits there and your opponent can step in and drive the ball and hit a winner on it. So you guys, this is one of the most simplest things. In order to practice it, you just have to change your concentration. 
Make sure to take every ball as you hit in the flat ball. Use the windshield wiper a little bit and rotate your shoulders as you would do on a top spin shot. And stay very relaxed. You cannot stay stiff because when you stay stiff, your racket is not going to close as the ball rolls down on your strings. You're actually going to stay in the same position and the ball is going to come out flat. Very simple solution. You guys can use it all the time. It's going to help you out so much. Of course, don't get me wrong, it's not the only thing you have to focus on. You will have to use your legs, you have to use your core rotation, your shoulder rotation, all those things if you already learned the shot. But that small thing is going to help you out so much that you can continue progress on your forehands and you can start hitting more winners and generate more spin by sending the ball just about two feet above the net with a lot of topspin. Good luck guys, hope you helped you out and uh, write in the comments below if you enjoyed that tip.